Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami, powered by a Yamaha 200, in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition, the Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today. The Fishing News is brought to you by Okuma and The Real Seat at 707 Union Avenue, Brielle. Gear up for full stripers and blues from the beach to the rocks and everywhere in between. You know, sometimes the social media posts aren't very sociable at all, especially when something like this one pops up as you're stuck at your desk. I'm Jim Hutchinson with a New Jersey, Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine. The uh, text and emails and phone calls started in the middle of the week. DJ Muller got in touch with me, Tom Lynch, my buddy John down on LBI, another friend fishing at Island Beach State Park, and then lo and behold, I see this on Facebook while I'm sitting at my desk from the folks at Grumpy's. I think that speaks volumes. As a matter of fact, we have another one. A quote from John Bouchel at Betty and Nick's in Seaside. Quote, it looks like they may be on bunker, fish all over the place, bust in water all over the place. That's what John said, quote, I would say it's on and the run has begun. Well, let's hope so. It's been slow getting started. I mean, this time of year, uh, this time of year last year, we we're already into it with a mix of striped bass of various sizes up and down the coast, especially in Raritan Bay, piling on bait, birds all over the place. We're snagging live line and throwing poppers, throwing those swim shads. It has been slow going, but hopefully the reports this week along the central coast especially show that we are on. Now, speaking of those uh, swim shads, I recognize a tsunami uh, heavy swimmer when I see it, one of those big plastic bats, baits. Well, Matt Calabria shared this. He's been doing some night damage uh, on the wikis and also the striped bass and throwing whatever it is they're eating. So obviously they're eating on bunker. So make sure you're breaking out those plugs, breaking out those plug, those, those bunker imitations and pack yourself a bunch of those swim shads as well. As Alex Aravenis shows, a 15 and a half pounder, earlier this week in Seaside, weighed that one in at Grumpy's, he said uh, he was throwing an SP minnow. So a lot of SP minnows are flying off the shelves as well. We do hear of some weak fish in the mix along the central coast as well. I did mention DJ Muller before. I had spoken to him on Wednesday and he said Shark River was just packed with bait. We started talking about the need for some of this northwest wind to really get that bait moving and also cool off the water a little bit. Well, looking ahead towards the NOAA forecast for the next few days, it is definitely showing the conditions are right for getting things started. West, northwest winds through Saturday morning is just what we need, and then you'll wake up on Saturday morning with a little bit of a light northeast, so that looks good. Friday and Saturday could really be uh, a gangbusters day as all conditions are showing, and it's shaping up midweek to be some pretty good news. Good news for everybody. Good news for LBI as well. They've got the 63rd annual LBI Surf Fishing Classic. It's now in its second week, and uh, we've got about 600 anglers registered in that tournament. We're finally starting to get some striper weigh-ins from the beach, uh, all along the beaches of LBI. Steve Warren, earlier this week, picked up the top fish so far, an 18.96 pounder that he caught on bunker and weighed that in at Surf City Bait and Tackle. It's only a matter of time before we start getting into the 20s and 30s along those beaches. Hey, if you plan, by the way, to be on LBI for the Classic this weekend, you might also want to consider the first annual Merchantville Surf Tournament. That's an ASAC event. It's going to be based out of Surf City. You can pick up this week's edition of the Fisherman Magazine, the New Jersey edition, for details on that contest. But if you're interested in participating in that Merchantville ASAC Tournament, call 856-466-9546. We move farther down into South Jersey and the back bays and rivers are starting to give up some more and more fish. We found that out during the reports this week. Also found out from Dave at Absecon Bay. Uh, he had a charter out there earlier in the week at a 30 incher. It looks like someplace out in front of the Mullica River. So uh, we're hearing more about that all the way down through Cape May County as some pretty good sized fish as well are moving in through the Cape May County back bay waters and have also heard uh, in compiling reports for the week of a couple of fish along the Delaware Bay shore as well. So it's only a matter of time before you can start picking up those rockfish along the front Delaware coast. Of course, for the most part down there, what's generating the most popularity, the most interest, is folks are catching a lot of sheep's head. More sheep's head are being brought in uh, from Cape May County all the way down across the Delaware and along the Delaware coast, more than we've heard in uh, quite a few years. Uh, you can certainly hit them up along the bridge and jetty structure. And it seems like folks that are dunking clam, looking for one of those tog, 
are ending up with some of those sheep's head as well. In fact, Jamie uh, Schweitzer, for example, he was fishing with Billy Talbot over the weekend down in Delaware, hit up with a nine pound sheep's head that he weighed in at Lewis Harbor. Now the big news, of course, for Delaware and New Jersey, all the way down through Maryland as well, is finally our black sea bass fishery is back open and open for business as of Sunday, October 22nd. So this Sunday starts 71 straight days of humpback fishing. Don't forget you've got a 15 fish bag limit, 12 and a half inch size limit. Those charter and party boats, a lot of them have been taking reservations because this is a popular day. So make sure you get in on it uh, quickly. You know, call these folks, get yourself locked and loaded. Because I'll tell you what, the hungriest and the first of those humpbacks that are becoming across the rail, they're probably going to be the biggest. And you may uh, find yourself with a dream boat contender uh, as well when you're out there at the wrecks as of Sunday. Giant bluefish on the party boats from Barnegat up through uh, boats out of the Atlantic Highlands. Some of the party boats now are finding some good dream boat style uh, bluefish, upper teens and low 20s. Uh, more fish are moving down too along the south shore of Long Island. It has been a slow start, but hopefully with this weather that we're getting now, this northwest wind, hopefully it's really going to start kicking into gear and you can start looking at some of those chopper bluefish as well. Those who are chomping to get offshore, you might want to pack an overnight bag because conditions through this weekend look terrific. Absolutely beautiful for the overnight chunking. You can check out this week's edition of the Fisherman Magazine. Again, take a look at the report section, the offshore report, and also throughout the advertising section to find out which boats are sailing to get offshore. It is a beautiful time to get out there chunking for some yellowfin, maybe even a swordfish or two. Uh, I'm hoping inshore as well as offshore that it's on. Everything kicks off into gear this week. We'll find out if we're right if you check in with us again next week and we'll find out. We'll compare some notes right here at thefisherman.com. Win the incredible Steigercraft 21DB Miami powered by a Yamaha 200 in the ultimate season-long multiple species subscriber-only fishing competition. The Fisherman's 2017 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Go to thefisherman.com and enter today.